Hello, my name is Diana Lennon and I am running for Eric Knezic's seat on the school board in District 8. I have been married for nearly 35 years to Rocky Lennon and we have two adult daughters, Mackenzie 22 and Savannah 18. We've lived here for almost 40 years and Lafayette is our home. Our community's values are faith, family, friends, and quality of life. Good schools, grade A schools, impact these values positively. Our family members are public school graduates and have jobs which support them. I believe in public education, but I don't ever believe we've arrived. We need to constantly strive for better schools. I graduated magna cum laude in my class from UL Lafayette in communications. I've worked primarily in the legal field from receptionist to marketing director for over the fi past 15 years. I'm a graduate of Leadership Lafayette, class 29, the best class ever, and have experience in teaching, sales, marketing, and management, as well as wellness. I'm a public ch published children's book author as well. The importance of education is deep-rooted in my family values. Both of my grandparents were lifetime educators. My dad was a high school history teacher. Education matters because it changes lives and affects futures. I stand with our kids, parents, teachers, administrators, staff, support personnel, community and business leaders, and private and homeschool families. If we're going to improve the quality of public education in Lafayette Parish, we all must work together. And we will have to make compromises. Some of the things we can do are analyzing and duplicating best education practices and not reinventing the wheel. Building pathways to post-secondary education. Thinking creatively to find creative solutions growing our economy, to work, to build and bring new businesses by finding out what school and businesses are looking for when they want to come into our area. There are lots of positive things happening in our schools. We have classroom wings that have been or are being built to eliminate those horrible temporary classrooms. At Myrtle Place, they even have one called the Gray Ghost. Our graduation rates have improved nearly 10% in four years. Industry-based certifications have increased from 10 to over 7,000 in four years. Improved school safety with a safety resource officer on every campus. And places like the WD, Career Center, Smith, WD Smith Career Center Academy where tech, industry-based, and apprenticeships education as well as real-world experience are taught. The Early College Academy where students earn a high school and an associate's degree when they graduate in four years. Initiatives like Hashtag Love Our Schools, FAFSA Completion Night for Post-Secondary Prep, and LafayetteCheckbook.com for School System Accountability. The LPSS budget is about $340 million, but with policies like zero-based budget and fiscal responsibility by utilizing LafayetteCheckbook.com, we can be accountable. LPSS is at a point where it is bonded out and will have to pay as we'll go. Pay and build as we receive and allocate revenue. We can do better than that. People have asked why the school board can't have a one penny temporary tax like the airport. Well, the answer is simply that we only need one airport in the area and there are 44 schools. If you pass a temporary tax dedicated to a school project, which of the 44 are you gonna choose? Long before I decided to run for school board, I've been involved in education on many different levels with my kids' schools, Woodvale, LJ Alamo, Paul Brown, Lafayette High, co-founding the Community Coalition to Rebuild Public Schools, volunteering for LPSS, hashtag Love Our Schools 2019, the Lafayette Education Foundation, the Youth Choirs of Acadiana, Corral, the Career Connections, One Acadiana, United Way, Food Net, Asbury Church, and Samaritan's Purse. I even helped co-create a hamburger cook-off for multiple sclerosis after I had a friend and coworker diagnosed with MS. I'm also creative. I want to find out-of-the-box solutions like intergovernmental agreements and cooperative endeavors, using technology to teach from one location to other schools in the parish, partnering with business who have resources and ideas and who benefit by having a trained, educated workforce in Lafayette Parish from which to select their employees. There are other issues we can work on like state mandates, working with the Department of Education, teacher autonomy, teacher-pupil ratio, teacher compensation, and recess. I've never run for office, but I'm excited at the thought of being a part of improving our schools. Please don't hesitate to call or text at 337-654-3057, or you can email me at dianaklennon at gmail.com, or you can post on Facebook or message me at facebook.com forward slash elect Lennon, and I will be responsive. 
When you vote on October 12th, I hope I will have earned your vote. Vote, volunteer, donate. Thank you.